Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boys Frogan Reactions here back with another video and today we're gonna be doing the draft recap yep. All the Leafs draft picks and some of them are shocking and some of them are very exciting So let's see what the Leafs have to draft. We'll talk through all the stats. Here we go Starting it off, we had a 23rd overall selection, right? Okay, so we had the 23rd overall selection. Leafs are ready to pick. Oh, timer up. Oh, we have a trade to announce. Good to know. What is the trade? Leafs are moving down in the draft. Not surprising. They send their 23rd pick to the Anaheim Ducks for two picks. Yeah. 31st for the first round in 2024 and 58th in the second round from the Boston Bruins in 2024 and their guy was still on the board yeah. the guy that they were suspected in picking was ej emery mm -hmm. emery was a very good college prospect he came up through the ranks and every leaf fan thought ej emery was going to be the least pick but so but he got picked before one so before one before so the 30th pick ej emery went to the new york rangers mm -hmm. so who the next one was None other than the Oshawa Generals right-handed defenseman Ben Danford mm -hmm. who weighs in who clocks in at 194 pounds who's 6'1 and just last season had 33 points in 64 of the Oshawa Generals games and keep note six foot one there's a trend here in Brad Tree Living's drafting you're gonna notice as we get through these picks so pay attention to their height then we had the next pick, which was in the fourth round, 120th pick overall, from Linkoping, Sweden, Victor Johansson. Who's a left shot, who just last season in his junior 18 to 20, uh, 20 in Leksands mm -hmm. had eight points in 34 games. Then again, he's a defenseman. Yeah. And he's 143 pounds, six foot one. Mm -hmm. Left hand defenseman. Then we picked at 151 overall in the fifth round from Cromeries in the Czech Republic, Miroslav Holinka. And in his, he's a centerman, in his games played, in 29 games played last season for the Czechia under 20, he had 41 points in 29 games played. Mm -hmm. Man, this bad. guy is a force to be reckoned with. He's six foot one, 187 pounds. Centerman. There's a trend here for Mr. Old Brad Tree Living. Oh, yes, because then at the next pick, 152 right after, and the fifth round from Russia, Alexander Pleskovsky. Now, the MHL is not very much. It's like the AHL version of the KHL. So yeah. the MHL is not that great. But in 33 games in the MHL, he had 17 points in 33 games. He's 17 years old. He's six foot two, and he's 174 pounds. Man, six foot two. Six foot two, six foot one. We're stacking on six feet. He's a left winger, and he's 17 years old. Heading on to the 157th overall pick in the draft in the fifth round from Russia again, Timofey Obvinsev. Now again, he's six foot four, 175 pounds, mm -hmm. and in his, in his six, uh, uh, 16 games played, he had a goals against average of 2.96 and a saves percentage of 921. This is in the MHL, so Not be wary. Incredible. It's amongst his peers. It's amongst his peers of 18 year olds and so that was the only goaltender we drafted this uh, uh, year, but then. Heading on to the set 200th overall pick in the seventh round, so we didn't pick any in the sixth round. From BC in Canada, Matthew Leahy. From the Nemino <laughs> Clippers, in his 54 games played, he had 19 points. He's 17 years old, six foot four, and 201 pounds. He's a force to be reckoned with, and he's a left shot at D. Yes. We need more, more right defensive. shotted, but yeah. okay. Then continuing on to the 216th overall pick in the seventh round, Leafs draft Ontario native Sam McHugh, left winger from the OHL. From the Owen Sound attack. Mm -hmm. 
a very good uh, prospect system down there in the OHL. With 34 games played, he scored, he had a points of 21 points. And he's eight, 18 years old and six foot two and 187 six pounds. Two. What's the all trend? these all these people are more than six feet. And then with the last pick in the draft and the last overall selection in the 2024 NHL draft among all teams, the 225th overall selection in the seventh round, the least select from British Columbia in the WHL, Nathan Mays. And with the Spokane, the Spokane Chiefs. He played 68 games, 16 points, not very great, but he is a D-man. He's 18 years old, he's 6 foot 3 and 180 pounds. So. 6 foot 3, Brad likes him tall, and he's a defenseman, so I guess he plays left and right. So that was the draft. We also had some other trades as well. We traded our second rounder, our, which was Boston's original second rounder in the 2024 NHL draft, 58 overall, to Florida for Florida's 225th overall selection in the 2024 draft and their second round pick in the 2025 draft. That was it. There was also a Tanev trade, trading for Tanev's rice, but we're going to get into that in the free agency uh, video that we're going to make, which you can check out here. Also, the NHL schedule has fully come out. The full NHL schedule is here. And we're going to just quickly go over some quick information about it. So we're starting October 9th in Montreal. Then we're headed October 10th back to back in New Jersey, Sheldon Keith. And then our home openers on October 12th, Saturday Night Hockey Night in Canada against Pittsburgh, Kyle Dubas, Jason Spezza. What a way to start the season. Now, one thing I noticed with this schedule is that there are no 10 p.m. games, no 10.30 p.m. games, and no 9 p.m. games. We have, we have 50 games at 7 p.m. 15 games at 7.30, and we have a bunch of games at 4, 5, and 6, and 6.30 p.m. So, the schedule's earlier this year. No. There's only one 8 p.m. game. That's our latest game is 8 p.m. No That's it. 10 p.m. Thank God, for the love of God. Uh, I'm actually happy about that. They have a bunch of 6 and 5 p.m. games throughout That's the fine. season. Which I'm happy with. You can see 5 p.m. there, 6, 4, 5, 8, 6, That's fine. 5, 4. As long as there's no 8, uh, uh, Even the Edmonton 30. road trip. 5 p.m., 7 p.m., 7 p.m., 4 p.m. No That's p.m. good. Great. That's I love good. It. I love it. So I'm excited for the season. We are just, I believe, like 90-something uh, days away. Actually, how many days are we from October 9th? 97 days as of filming this video until then. And we can't wait. So that's been our recap video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe with the notification bell. If you enjoyed this one, check out our free agency recap here where we discuss all the signings the least made this week. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.